Hello YouTube, this is Josh with the Pantech Brothers, and this is the Tech News at Noon. So today we're talking about MK2, a Paris-based cinema company that is going to be opening a retail location to let people test drive VR headsets. So for about $25 for 40 minutes of playtime, you'll be able to test drive the PlayStation VR, the Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive, when a number of games that are available for each. Uh, some of those being the Birdly Motion Simulator, uh, the Climb, Star Wars Battlefront Mission X-Wing, uh, as well as others. So they're going to have these pods set up around a circular, circular center that has the hardware running all these, uh, which are some pretty beefy gaming computers, and allow people who have never really experienced VR to come in and try out these different hardware platforms which is a really good idea considering the mass majority of people really don't know what VR is and have definitely not experienced it with the high entry cost at you know five six hundred dollars for HTC Vive and Oculus Rift respectively that's a really big chunk of money to put down on a piece of hardware that you've never used before and have no really experience with other than the hype and the news uh, articles that are coming out about VR and such. So it's a great opportunity for people to be able to test out different hardware or those who already have the hardware maybe they want to come out and test different games before putting down money on VR games they may not like or enjoy which are obviously not going to really be able to be resold unlike traditional console games. So it's a really cool concept uh, it might be something that could work well in the states, at least in uh, maybe big metropolitan areas like New York, uh, Miami, L.A., uh, those type of places. I don't know if it'll be something that comes to the United States. It'd have to be done, obviously, by a different company. But the idea is really cool, and I could definitely see it uh, working out well for um, for a company if they wanted to try it. VR is definitely seems like it may be the next wave of uh, big entertainment medium for uh, gaming and um, multimedia movies. So we shall see. So next up, Super Nintendo World coming to Universal Studios Japan 2020. So Nintendo and Universal Studios uh, partnered up earlier this year and have come to an agreement that locations in Osaka, Orlando, and Hollywood would eventually get Nintendo themed attractions. But this is the first to really be announced in its entirety and the plan is the Universal Studios Japan location in Osaka is going to open before the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. So obviously still a number of years off, but a uh, very cool announcement. It seems like it would be something really fun to go and visit. I know uh, I am here in Orlando, so uh, Universal Studios here, um, with it getting a Nintendo-themed uh, area of the park, uh, would be really cool. I could definitely see them recreating some levels from Super Mario World, uh, maybe have some kind of like Mario Kart uh, ride. Uh, this seems like a real easy tie-in for a theme park. It's a very cool announcement. And so on to Amazon's The Grand Tour. So those of you who have been fans of Top Gear um, were obviously probably saddened when the show was canceled on the BBC and its terrible replacement that has aired now. But The Grand Tour is really the next step in the iteration of the Top Gear series and it's been massively successful now on Amazon Prime. However, it has a real issue with piracy. So the Grand Tour is actually right now the most pirated uh, TV show ever. It has surpassed things such as uh, Game of Thrones, you know, Walking Dead, um, all those big uh, multi-million dollar TV shows and has been pirated the first episode 7.9 million times uh, 6.4 million for the second episode and 4.6 million for the third so they have been doing some research 
and looking at the numbers of subscribers in uh, UK versus the number of those people who have been downloading it uh, illegally. And so basically what they found is that only um, 2 million of the people who live in the UK um, have subscribed essentially to Amazon Prime to watch the show versus about five times that have actually pirated the show. So that's a huge disparity in the number of people who are paying for the content versus those who are downloading it illegally. It's a little disappointing. Obviously, uh, the show's got great production value. Uh, I'm very happy to see that it's available in 4K streaming through Amazon Prime. And it has been uh, fun to watch. I've enjoyed the first uh, four episodes now. And I hope that uh, Amazon sees uh, the value in keeping it around for uh, at least another season um, or more. And hopefully the people over there in the UK uh, will um, you know, pony up the $100 or 100 pounds to subscribe to Amazon Prime. That was actually one of the main polls that Amazon uh, chose to do the show, sponsor the show essentially is to help increase the ratings and the subscribership in in the UK uh, for Amazon Prime. So time will tell. We'll see if uh, that will be successful for them or not. But the show is obviously wildly popular and uh, fun to watch. So hopefully more people will choose to go the legal route and pay for the service and watch it that way versus downloading it illegally. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tech news at noon, and we will see you tomorrow.